While many of us were watching golf legends competing at Whistling Straits right here on WISC TV3 today, some of the world's best disc golfers who simply throw their disc into a net instead of hitting a ball into a hole were competing right here in Madison. And with a new sort, they're creating their own sort of new stories. These first generation legends, stories like these. The first time she found herself on a disc golf course. Sarah Holcomb never really expected to be all that good. It was uh, really just a whirlwind of events. But after almost nine years of disc events, she found herself competing at the World Championships in Pittsburgh last weekend. I was playing really well. Um, I had shot pretty much um, the better rounds in all of the, um, each, each round, and I was up by five. But as she headed into the fifth round... And all of a sudden, I just get whammed. An airbag goes off. A rush hour drive would change everything. I get propelled into oncoming traffic. I got hit by a construction truck on the, uh, on the driver's side fender, swirled around. Um, it finally stopped. Once the spinning stopped, Sarah found this. Her car was totaled. My most important thing is I'm explaining to them that I really have a tea time at 1.30. Panic quickly turned to relief as Sarah found a ride. But when she showed up a little late to her tea time, her teammates could hardly believe what they saw. She had a you know black eye, all kinds of scratches, all kinds of bruising, chest pain from her airbag being released. Tour rules gave Sarah a penalty for the two holes she missed, but she fought back to make the final round. And I ended up um, getting second by one stroke. Um, so it was uh, disappointing, I think, you know, uh, things may have been different if I hadn't gotten that accident, but um, I learned a lot through it. She's looking good, though, right? Despite the crash, meaning Sarah has that black eye, as you saw, bruised ribs and whiplash. She still managed, we think, a congratulations in order to come in second place today.